Okay, guys, we are back, and you know what? I'm looking up there. I'm looking down here. I braved that uh, mine shaft for a little while, but uh, I think it's time to get moving because, well, got eaten by uh, some mobs. I got poisoned by a cave spider, and while that's all fun and good, I didn't really find any good loot, and I feel like uh, there's a lot more to explore. And we're going to get the heck out of Dodge. Let's see what I take with me. I don't need six furnaces. I uh, don't really need any more wool. I already made a bed. I'm taking it with me, which means that if I die again, it's going to be a problem. Because uh, now my spawn point is gone. Uh, what else? I got some bruises to eat. You know what? Let me cook the... Let me cook up this ore before I go. That way I'm not uh, taking up another slot in my inventory. I don't think I need rail either. I'm not going to be building any railroads anytime soon. There's already a fantastic rail line um, in Survivor Craft. So let's put an iron sword. Iron sword. That makes a slightly better iron sword. <laughs> not very good, but i uh, got some iron picks. And I have 13 arrows and a bow. I've got myself a shield that I'm not wearing right now so I can actually see something. We got these ingots. We got one piece of mutton. You know what? We're going to eat it as soon as we're hungry. That way it clears up some inventory space. That's it, man. This cave has taken its course. We're going to go out into the world. Well, are we going out into the world? What time is it? Eh, close enough. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, we need to travel that way's north, that way's east. That's definitely not the way we need to go. We need to go like southwest, which is this way. So, what say we climb a mountain? A lot of caves. Let's keep moving because I will get distracted and we will be stuck in those caves for another five episodes. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Someone is going to comment, Solius, you should have explored those caves. Well, I hope to get to the point one day where I'm getting a bunch of comments. Thank you to those who have been putting comments in on my... Ha! <laughs> who have been putting comments in on my, uh, my page with the couple of videos that I have. I think at this point I've only actually been able to put up two videos which is pretty pitiful, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. And I actually have two more videos ready to go. Two episodes of Surviving Survivor Craft and one, maybe two episodes of Let's Build Some Redstone. I think that's what it's called. What's it called? Learn Redstone with me. That's what it is. Um, I have a couple of uh, videos ready to go, but I haven't, you know, I know uh, Paul said at one point, that editing takes a really long time and doggone it he was right you know editing the videos to really make them look nice and get some quality uh, get give them a quality look and make them entertaining it's really not easy and it takes a while and I've got some young kids and you know they uh, they want dad around just as much as anybody would man this is really tough to scale isn't it alright let's try the other way and if not we'll just have to go back down and go around Finally, we scaled this mountain. This is beautiful. I love this. Uh, I haven't been able to render in much of this today because uh, I just came out of that cave. If we had traveled over here, which is, uh, we came from that direction originally a few, uh, several hours ago, I guess, in-game hours, we would, uh, we would see all of that. Same thing with this. I don't have the most powerful rig in the world, so you know how it is. So, okay, let's make some decisions here. We, I think, are going straight west right now because the sun is setting in this direction. Um, but the sun is setting also, so we're going to need to find some shelter pretty quickly. And we're also going to need to get down off of this mountain. Hopefully there's enough precipices here. Ooh, I almost fell. Uh, where I can get down and we won't die of fall damage. So let's try to come down this way. Mm. It's funny, you take for granted falling when you play on a server for a very long time and you have uh, feather falling on your equipment. 
very, very nice and very expensive equipment in uh, Minecraft speak, being that uh, they're all made out of diamonds and have lots of enchantments, and now I'm back to having nothing. So even getting down from a mountain can be an interesting endeavor. So, okay, we're going to go this way and this way and this way. And we should be able, yes, to make it down. Just in time for sunset. Wonderful. And um, we only have less with us on the server, which means these mobs are going to be out in full force. Our mob cap is way, 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 way up on this server since it's a multiplayer server. Um, I may need to carry this with me because I don't want to waste all my torches, but I need a little bit of light. And also I want you guys to see, obviously. So... I'm sure that in the editing process, again, which takes a really long time, I'm going to add a good amount of uh, brightness to this so you guys can see. But you know what? It's getting dark. I wonder. Uh, the night's moving fast. You know what that means? My buddy Les is sleeping, so I will too. I'm going to get into this bed here. Uh oh. Wait, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Let's walk. Let's move. I saw some mobs. Did you see some mobs? Because I saw some mobs. Oh, here they come. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, they got a long reach, don't they? Come on, Les. Les is sleeping because this night is moving fast. We've got it set up as to... Uh, for the night to move... To oh, Bob! How you doing, man? What's going on? How you? Uh, what are you doing over here? Okay. Let's go. Come on, it's almost daytime. That means they're gonna burn up. Let's run, 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 run. Ah, Bob is probably right on my tail. Yep, he's burning. He's burning. There's a... There's a creeper. Hey, creeper, how are you? You're not gonna burn, which means I need to keep on keeping on. Wow, look at all these creepers. Oh, come on, Bob. Why ain't you burning, Bob? Bob, you need to be burning, my friend. Alright, okay. Well, your buddies are burning. Haha, <laughs> watch you burn. Okay, let's get you. Let's get you. And, oh, welcome, Hayagami, to our server. Very nice. Let me say, welcome. And, hopefully, we will get them to subscribe to our channel as well. Oh, this is like craziness. You see this guy? Yeah. You see those guys? Yeah. That one, that one. That one and those guys, but they seem not to have very good vision because I'm like right here. All right, let me grab this and let me cut on out of here. Let's keep on going. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Yeah. The problem with uh, the way that I play is that I don't really have my volume up as high as it seems like some YouTubers have. And what ends up happening is that uh, creepers creep. Creepers be creeping, and they creep up on me, and I really hate that. All right, let's just go straight east. We'll get out of these mountains because they seem to be more of a hazard than they are a help to me. Did we see you guys earlier? Holy cow. Every river has uh, 10 million squid and uh, 3 million bruises, don't they? All right, let's see if you think I can make it. Yeah, I think I can. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, okay. That would have been bad if I just took a whole lot of damage uh, from one little jump. Okay, let's keep walking. Let's get rid of this from our inventory. Let's put some salmon in our inventory now. And let's see. Whoa. What was that? Did I just take damage from some? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, let's keep walking. We're walking east right now, aren't we? I hope so. I get disoriented very easy. Uh, you know, sorry, we need to be going west. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, 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 good. That's what I meant. Um, hmm, how do you attract foxes again? I don't know, but you, you can't really, like, keep them as pets the way you can uh, wolves, can you? So, for my survival-oriented purposes, I don't think I really need... Oh, speaking of which, didn't I run out of wood? I didn't have any wood. Yeah, I did make that comment, right, that 
I was just in a freaking enormous mine shaft, and yet somehow I have no wood. So let's cut some wood up. I don't think these are so tall where I need to do the uh, the PSJ thing and. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil, I should have left one just like he says so in his videos, doesn't he? Alright, let's break this. I know, it's not with an axe, I get it, whatever. Oh, oh, come on, dude, seriously? Get over here, seriously? Alright. Oh, the other thing I was going to do was leave a sign in that other cave for prosperity, but, uh, wow, look at all these sheep. Huh. Oh gosh, I hate to kill you guys, but you know, you never know when you're gonna need some good old mutton chops. So, speaking of which, you know the guys that can like get away with having glorious looking mutton chops? I would love to do that, but I guess that's like, uh... okay, I thought I heard something. Um, yeah, mutton chops are, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, Kind of like a mullet. There's only certain people that can really pull those off really well, right? If I tried to do that right now, I would get laughed at in my house. And then there's certain people that, like, uh, <laughs> it looks pretty darn amazing. You know? Let's say good going. Hmm. That's the, the new silent uh, member of our uh, server, I guess, huh? That's okay. No big deal. We're all just trying to survive. Let's see... Let's see where I get uh, cows. Man, I should have taken some cows rather than the sheep, but I don't necessarily want to... What is that? Into fire? Oh. Oh, wow. Already in the nether? What? I don't know. Maybe not. I think we have, you know, several blaze farms and stuff on the server, so... Now I'm in the trees and I don't know how to get out. How do I get down from the trees? This way? Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, well we got a tree in the water here. Um, we are still heading west. Got a lot of cows here, holy moly. I was gonna say holy cow, but then uh, you might think that I actually meant to, you know, meant to make a pun and... and it would have sounded really corny and holy cow there you go i said it let's go around i'm done with mountains for now oh look what i got here a little mushroom action a little shroom a little shroom are we entering a mushroom forest yeah we are it looks like it's uh, we're starting to get into the dark oaks over here huh look at that thing that thing's enormous i gotta take a screenshot of this that looks cool doesn't it okay maybe that will be the thumbnail how about that yeah, I think that would be cool. Uh, what's it called? Portable instant shelter system here? Uh, didn't uh, didn't you say that once, Paul? I hope one day you watch a video of these. I think... Uh, I hope you wouldn't be bored to death. But this forest is going to be real big. I'm sure I'm going to get lost in here. It's beautiful. You know, I think Minecraft, or being a blocky... For being a blocky uh, world, it is a really beautiful one. I mean, the landscapes are cool. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Huh. Okay. Nah. Nah. Let's see if I can swim up this direction here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's a waterfall here. Okay. What happens if I get to the top of that waterfall? I'll probably just fall down, knowing me, and then I'll die of fall damage, and then I'll laugh myself off the episode and uh, cry myself to sleep. So let's keep going this way. Uh, we are heading west, okay. That's a good thing. That's where I need to go. Ooh, scary cave. Well, we're gonna keep going. Let's see. I'd love to find a body of water so that I can get to where I want to go faster, because after all, sailing... Did you just move fast? Oh. Isn't that fast for a sheep? I don't know. Anyway, sailing 
You pushing me, buddy? Hey, you got a problem? Get out of here. All right. You're lucky that I'm uh, all full up on mutton chops. Uh, otherwise, uh, you might be a goner, my friend. Let's travel down this river. Oh, that looked like a creeper underwater for a second. That would have been, would have been coitins. Well, maybe not, because I guess water is like kind of dampened. Whoa! Look at all the squid. Jeez. I'm telling you, man. Mob, ca mob caps. Mob caps. Smack my boat around a little bit, you know, you gotta smack the boat. Let's see, we're coming across something here. An ocean? Wow. Either it's an enormous ocean or I'm not rendering in what's uh, up ahead. But let's get on and see where it takes us. I think we still need to go uh, sort of southwest. Let's see, are we still going in the right direction? That's south, that's west, so that's gotta be southwest, right? Okay, let's keep on keeping on really like to uh, get where we're going before nightfall. I don't want to be on a boat in the middle of the night. You know, funny, it's probably the safest place to be in the middle of the night, actually. Uh, I am not aware that drowns will... Uh... Oh, hey, guy. What is up? Why am I going faster than you? Aren't dolphins supposed to be real fast? Anyway, um... As far as I know, drowned, they don't get you if you're on a boat, do they? I don't know. Leave a comment. Ha, <laughs> yeah, see? See how I can get people to leave comments? Uh, I don't think drowned get you. As of right now, we're just moving on along in a boat. Amazing, I can make these oars go without moving my arms. That is the power of positive thinking, isn't it? I think we are going to get caught in a boat in the night. Minecraft rolls, minecart rolls in the middle of the ocean. There's a minecart rolling, rolling, rolling. That's interesting. All right, do we get off or do we keep going? I say we keep on rolling. You already saw firsthand what happens when there's a ton of uh, ton of mobs spawning all around you in the middle of the night. So. That is beautiful. Look at all this coral out here. Wow, you know what? Let's see, where is this? This is uh, around 6,000 and negative 7,000. You know, I may have to come back here one day and, you know, I don't know, I think you need silk touch, right? You probably need silk touch. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, any survivors that are uh, on the server who want to come swim around in some beautiful coral maybe even take a little souvenir for yourself because this is a video game you are allowed to do that here uh should hit up those coordinates man that looks really nice okay and in the meantime you know what let me stop right here let me see if i can get a bed down yeah this is gonna go fast i hope Let's see if we can sleep real fast, because there is definitely a mob in here somewhere, ready to spawn and ready to kill me. I'm going to leave my trigger finger right on leave bed. If I hear footsteps, why'd that stop? Ah, that's why. Okay, good. Less came to the rescue, didn't? Yeah, you did. Ooh, look at all those mobs right there. I'm telling you, man, the mob counts are pretty crazy but you know what that's why i'm doing this because i'm trying to survive survivor craft so i should be heading directly west right isn't this west so I just started my uh, Minecraft uh, videos and I just started my YouTube channel. I'm brand new to the whole thing. It's probably not the greatest idea in the world to upload a couple videos and then not upload for a while. But, wow, we went from warm ocean over to uh, very cold, huh? In a second. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Once I smack my boat around a little bit. Hey. What are you doing, man? Come on, get back up here. 
so um what was I saying? Oh yeah, so yeah, it's probably not uh, the greatest idea to just upload a couple videos and not upload again for the few subscribers that I even have. But uh, like I said, life gets in the way sometimes, you know, and uh, makes it difficult to uh, play a lot and definitely to edit a lot. And I, you know, I don't have a ton of editing experience, but I really like. Uh, you know, making the videos presentable, adding a little music. Uh, you're probably listening to some decent uh, adventuring music right now because I'm sure that uh, I probably would have added some once I edited this clip. Um, West, ha, huh, you know what? New guy, new girl, new whatever. I'm not sure who that was, actually. Um, there have been a couple of new patrons on the Discord lately. And, uh, you know, they probably don't have the same in-game name as they do a Discord name. So that's probably one of them, which is cool. I really like to see new faces around here. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm just in a vast expanse of frozen wasteland. But you know what, if my calculations are correct, I'm in the 6,000s, uh, which means I shouldn't be too far from Frostbite frostbite Fields, should I? And I think that's, if I can get there, that's where we're gonna call it quits, because, uh, and uh, you know what? Frostbite Fields is on a big frozen tundra in the northeast of the map. So I think we're going in the right direction, and that's where I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna camp out as soon as I find it. Now, not that that's like the. Uh, ooh, big blue. Not that that's the uh, safest place in the world. The mobs. Uh, we got strays out here, and they really love to shoot some arrows. That what do they have? Arrows of slowness. Is that what it is? You know what? Let's check this out. Already a detour. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Signs of struggle here. Somebody died out here. All right, let's see. Redstone lamp. Oh, this belongs to somebody. Let's see. I don't want to break anything. Don't these... Uh, aren't these generated? I don't want to... Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't want to destroy anybody's stuff, but... Uh, but I don't think I will if I just come down here, right? These are, like, generated structures, aren't they? Interesting. Am I gonna make it? How do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. The answer is you hit shift. Oh. Oh. I guess they're saved, huh? Is this... This is... Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, they're like zombie villagers down here in the bottoms of igloos, aren't there, that need to be rescued? Well, you know what, folks? Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's call it a day. Oh. What, what's happening? There's like mobs down here? Let's go. We're, you know, there's some weird stuff going on here. There's villager prisoners here, and weird things happen in frozen uh, tundras. You know, if you've ever seen the movie Fargo. Weird, ugly things happen in weird places. I think the cold gets to people. Uh, this is west. That's south. I know I keep doing that, but I'm telling you, man, I am very liable to get lost. I, I'm all over the place in these maps. I get lost very quickly. And it's not really that I'm lost. It's that, it's that I'm just... I get distracted, and then I start going in a different direction. Yep, I see something over here. I think we are getting to frostbite, and why am I not rendering? Man, this is slow. As soon as I can get a little bit of a picture here, uh, rendered in, some... These guys are everywhere, aren't they? Huh. Well, anyway, Frostbite Fields was made by one of our friends and survivors. I believe, don't kill me if I pronounce this wrong, Shotlike. Uh, I like to call him KJ, though, because uh, 
I believe those are the first two letters of his uh, name. And it's actually like a uh, an ice farm, right? But I guess something is happening down here where he's building some stuff and there's a lot of people digging. It's like a community uh, effort down here. But you know what? There is an entrance, which I will find in a second, to the actual uh, sort of entrance to Frostbite Fields, you know, where uh, where you actually warp into. And it's nice. It's got like a whole building there, living room and whatnot. So let's see if I can find my way up. I've usually, you know, the couple times I've been here, I've warped in and uh, actually, uh, you know, found my way around from there onward. But it uh, seems like today I'm doing the opposite. I'm walking on over and then finding my way in. And that's where we're going to call it quits. We are walking. We sure are, huh? Man, this thing's big. Maybe the uh, next time uh, I get on the server, since I'm going to be here, I'll give you guys a little tour of the actual uh, facilities, huh? But for now, I see smoke. And when there's where there's smoke, there's fire. And in this case, it's a fireplace. And I'm really happy to see a fireplace right now, because I've been walking a really long way. It's really cold out here. And I would like, ooh, nothing more than some shelter. And this is beautiful. If it wasn't for that, the fact that I can't render anything in right now, man, I must be real slow. If any of you tech, techy, tech-oriented people can tell me how to make that better. Look how beautiful this place is, man. This is gorgeous. KJ has done an awesome job. Hopefully I didn't edit out the uh, the part that explained why I call him KJ, but I guess it's self-explanatory. It just seems a lot easier to me than shot like. But you know what? I'm getting better, actually. That's I'm, if, if that's the way to pronounce it, please forgive me if it's not. Um, I think it's uh, rolling off my tongue a little better. Oh, this is really nice. This is beautiful. And in fact, the sun is setting right over this here house, so let's take a little shot of it. And let's walk on up. This is a gorgeous build. It's a really time-consuming build. I mean, look at this thing. Wait, let's see. Ooh, plot number one, cottage home. Very nice. Very well planned also. But look at this. Look at this platform, man. This platform took must have taken forever to put together. Just the platform. Forget the rest of this building. I'm going to walk up this path, beautifully done path, also really nice detailing, love the logs, love the different types of stone, and I'm getting what to what looks to be the main house, dark prismarine, very beautiful, alright, nice and warm, Whew. look at this, very beautiful, gorgeous build, stay cool. All right, let's read this real quick. Frostbite Fields. I'm just going to go through each page. Uh, that way you guys can pause it and read it if you would like. Um, and then I'm going to read it myself, but I'll probably edit that out. Okay, so that was cool. I mean, look at this beautiful ice uh, ice farm with a really nice uh, lodge here, a main house. Ooh, I hear the campfire. That sounds very welcoming. What are these doors? Oh, this is a chimney. Oh, cool, man. That's really nice. Looks really nice. Look at these tables also. You got fletching tables, smithing tables. This is beautiful. You got a cartography table. Well, just like the book said, there is a lounge downstairs. I'm all for lounging after uh, several thousand blocks of walking. So uh, let's see what we find in here. Oh, uh, look at this hearth. I love calling it a hearth. It just makes it sound so welcoming, right? More so even than than a, uh, a fireplace. Let's Let's have a seat here. Oh, man, that was a long walk, and I'm really happy to take a load off and to rest my weary bones as I, I don't know, hold a fish. Anyway, I think that we are going to call it quits right here. I'm going to keep, I'm going to put my feet up on this beautiful coffee table. I hope KJ doesn't mind. I'll try not to muddy up the place, and uh, 
I'm gonna have a rest here and stay away from the mobs for a little while and then we'll get back to adventuring. We'll be off trying to get ourselves back home and uh, that way I can get my uh, all of my goodies and uh, start showing you the rest of the server. Alrighty, good seeing you, good talking to you, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next episode.